All right, YouTube, how you doing? This is Mike. And this is TJ with the Pratt Family Homestead. Today we'll be painting bee boxes and talking a little bit about bees. TJ has shown an interest in bees, so uh, it's something that he and I are kind of doing together. The whole family's doing it, the whole family's interested, but um, TJ's done, been doing a lot of stuff that's geared towards science and um, like you're doing science club this year, bud. What, what was the, the competition thing you did last year? Uh, Science Olympiad. So, Science Olympiad. And uh, uh, so this is just something he's become interested in. He and I have been to a class already. We, we had to back out of another class. And we're getting our bees in a couple weeks, so we got to get these painted. So uh, TJ, TJ and I are going rattle to rattle off a little trivia while we're doing this. Uh, some bee facts that maybe he remembers. And um, we'll be cheating. I got a computer over here. Look up stuff, and and uh, uh, we'll regurgitate it. So it's what's one of the big things you remember, TJ? That the queen lays twenty five hundred uh, eggs a day. That's right. That's actually what they said in the class. What have What have we learned more from reading and doing our own research? That she only lays fifteen hundred. Right. We've we've read anywhere from fifteen hundred to twenty five hundred, but generally speaking. Everything mostly says 1,500 eggs a day. So uh, we're going to go ahead and do some painting. Uh, join back with us here in a little bit, and uh, we'll have some more some more stuff to tell you. On my back porch here, uh, we got kids jumping on the trampoline. We got a rooster. We got a whole lot more back there. But over here, that little wooded area is where I want the bees. I want to put them... We are facing south right now, so east, west. I want to put them right over here on the back side of this, so it'll be the southeast corner of this wooded area, and it drops down. You can see how it's kind of going downhill. It drops a little bit back in there, and uh, that'll give them shade in the afternoon. They'll get the sun first thing in the morning, but also come winter, man, the wind whips through here in the winter. It's not even funny. And um, so they'll have all kinds of protection from that wind. And even if the wind did come out of the east, which it does sometimes, uh, they're down in, a, down in a little, I don't know, a little gully back there a little bit. But that's where we're planning on putting them. Let us know what you think. Um, I've read tons of different stuff, but I think that's what we're going to do. All right. We're cruising along. We each got about almost got one box done, I think. And uh, what's something else you can remember, TJ? Um. What do you want to talk about? Well, there's three kind of bees: a drone, a worker, and a queen. Okay, and let's start with. Uh, what do you want to start with? Drone. Drone. Aha! All right. What are the drones? They're the male, and really all they do is just mate with the queen. So all they do is help make those eggs? Mm-hmm. Uh, so the boys do nothing. Pretty much. All right, which one do you want to talk about next? Boys sound kind of boring. Uh, the queen. The queen, okay. She, all she does is she lays the eggs, and she's obviously a female. Right. And that's all she does, really. So, uh, and how many eggs a day do we think? Um, it's either 2,500 or 1,500. Right. Or it could be in between. Or in between, or a little more, a little less, somewhere in there. Mm -hmm. um, so, so the drones kind of don't do anything except mate with the queen and help make eggs. The queen, you said... Uh, all she does is lay eggs. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I mean, she doesn't even feed herself? No, that's the worker bee's job. They they go out, get, get nectar, make the honey, and then when the queen's eggs hatch, they take care of the baby larva and all that jazz. And they also feed her. They, they groom her, feed her. Wait, and the worker bees are what? Female. The worker bees are female, and they, so you're telling me that, well, the queen, the queen uses all of her energy 
making those eggs all day long. So those worker bees, they have to feed her, give her water and everything else. And so what else do the worker bees do? They, so they, they get the nectar and also some of, when groups go out to get nectar, some stay behind mm -hmm. and guard the bees nest. Okay. So they don't let groups from, like other bees from different places come in. Um, and, this, and like they, so like if ants try to get in or something, they would, they would take care of them. They try to. So the worker bees take care of the queen. Yes. The worker bees, did you already say they went out and got all the nectar and pollen yep. and stuff? Yep. Uh, and so they do all the foraging. They do all the protecting of the hive. So those are some busy girls. Those are some very busy girls and very lazy boys. I'd rather be a boy. You'd rather be a boy? Holy cow. All right, well, um, what are we forgetting? Oh, do you remember? And don't guess. If you don't, if you don't know, don't say. It's fine. Uh, how far typically, not records and stuff, but typically do we think we remember that bees forage? How far will they go to get nectar and pollen? Pretty sure three to five miles. I think that is what we have read and that's what we um, have heard. Do you remember in the one class that we were in, they talked about um, a record for foraging that they were able to record and I can't remember where, I believe it was out in a desert somewhere. It was eight. Was it eight miles? Eight miles. Cool. All right, anything else you want to uh, say or do right now? Or should we get some new boxes up here and continue painting? Yeah, probably continue painting. All right. We'll be back in a couple minutes with some more good fun. All right, guys. We're uh, we're making pretty good times. So obviously going to need uh, a second and maybe even a third coat. Um, but we're doing good. We're doing real good. Uh, we only got uh, two deep fruit boxes and a shallow one. Uh, got it as a kit. I put it together, and I didn't say this before, but our bees are supposed to be here May uh, 8th, 5th, 10th? 6th. <laughs> he would be so lost without me, guys. So I'm here to officially tell you, our bees will be here May 6th. Um, <laughs> uh, and so uh, in the next, we'll get these all aired out and everything, and then the next um, week or so, we'll go get them where we want them and I'll take you in probably a different video to show you that but so TJ yeah. refresh my memory this is called a uh, what a deep brood box yes okay so we got two of these deep brood boxes and they stack on top of each other right and all that stacks on top of the space that I got right here yes and then what goes on top of those two um there's a smaller box mm -hmm. that will go on top of those okay so what's what's the difference? What's the big one for and the small ones for? Well, the two big ones are for the bees. They have all the babies and the honey in there. Okay. And then for the one small box that we have, when we get our bees, depending on if they only get one of these big deep brew boxes filled, then we won't get from honey this year. But if they get both of them, we might get honey. Right, so what he's saying, what we've talked about is we, these brew boxes, we don't ever take anything out of here, right? No. Never. If the top one fills up with honey, we will get a second and a third one. But even for here in Michigan, probably, um, we'll even leave that top, that first uh, shallow one, we'll leave that for the bees as well. And we'll only take numbers two and three if we can get that much this year. Um that was, that was just something else TJ had found interesting during the class, and he had re come home and recited that to mom as well. So, um, I think, buddy, yeah. I think we're in trouble. Oh. I think mom's got some questions for us. Uh-oh. Let's get those <laughs> thinking caps on. <laughs> All right, mom, what you got? All right, well, TJ will know this one. Good. Uh, how many eyes do these have? Five. Five eyes. Alright. Um, how fast can a bee fly? Leave up to 50 miles per hour. Nope. 
15. Oh, 15 miles. 15. Ooh, that'd be a fast B right there. Their wings beat 200 times per second. That's like... 200 that's times <laughs> per second. One 1,000. That's 200. Ooh. Yeah. You All right. That? I did not know that. Did you know that? He, I believe they said that. Yeah, they said that in the class. Oh, okay. In the summer, how many bees can be in a beehive? <laughs> no, that's how many eggs get laid every day. Yeah. I believe the answer is 50 to 60,000. 50 to 80,000. 50 that to 80,000. Do I get a lollipop? How many flowers does it take for one bee to make one pound of honey? How many flowers? Ooh. Ooh. They probably make lots of trips back and forth on the same flower. Fifty. Fifty flowers? Try about two million. It takes, wait a minute, are you what? Are you <laughs> telling me? For one pound of honey, it takes for one bee, one pound of honey, two million flowers. Okay, I can see that. The nectar from oh. about two million flowers. Okay. All right. Yeah, I can buy that. I'll buy that for a dollar. I don't have a dollar. Bees fly more than once around the world to gather a pound of honey. That's crazy. Oh, you mean figuratively? Yeah, for yeah. like distance and stuff. Yep. Yeah. Um, how many bees does it require, worker bees, how many worker bees does it require to gather a pound of honey? Oh, well now we're talking math. It, one bee could do it. Well, it well takes... one bee could do it from two million, but just to, like... Oh, if they all went out and... Yeah. Two million if they all paired. 556 to get a pound. But you think about it. You get 50,000 to 80,000 bees in that beehive. Right. And it takes only 556 to get a pound of honey. Um, Need that turn button? Okay. Is this side painted? No. That's your first side. There you go. <laughs> Peeking in the back. She's getting ready to go to dance class. How many pairs of wings do bees have? Four over there by mom. Four? Oh, wait, no, they have two pairs. Two pairs. Two pairs of wings. Good job. Good job. How long is the average life of a honeybee during the working season? Average life? Oh, I kind of remember this. Remember that? It's not very... Oh, wait. It, it can be long. Um... um not yet, buddy. Hold on just a second, okay? Um, yeah, I... I'm stuck. Four, 45 days? Uh, three to six weeks. Three, three to six. six weeks. Okay, so 45 fits in there. Uh, Dad! How many products come from a beehive? Oh, well, I know one. Honey. Yep. What's another one? Oh, uh, wax. None of, your, none of your beeswax. Beeswax, uh, yeah. So there's two. Uh, bees knees? No. Oh. <laughs> I'm not even sure bees have. Uh, well, all right, the wax. Uh, I don't know, is that is the honeycomb considered one? Or is that kind of going with all the rest of it? I think that's the, like the bees wax part. There is something that's really cool that I'm not remembering, isn't there? What is it, babe? There's five products. Honey. Okay. Beeswax. Okay. Pollen. Pollen. I'm not going to say this one right, I don't think. Prop propolis. Oh, uh, yes, I know what you're talking about. And royal jelly. Oh, that's royal right. Royal jelly. Yeah, we were, they were talking about that in the <laughs> class. That's right. I don't remember exactly what it is, though. We'll have to look that up. Do you remember exactly what it is? It's something you get from the queen. That's all I know. Yep. It's, it's the... Yep. I can read it to you. What it is? All right, read it. Let's Royal it. jelly is a milky substance produced yes. in a special gland in the worker bee's head. 
For her whole life, the queen is fed royal jelly by the workers. There we go. I, right. thought, I thought it yep. came from the queen. How much extra honey, which is what the beekeeper harvests, how much extra honey can a single beehive produce? Say that again. Extra honey. So the extra honey is what the beekeeper takes. Right. Because you, you leave the, the other honey for the bees. Okay. So the extra honey is what the beekeeper takes. How much extra honey can one single beehive produce? I know this. I read it. The heat is on. Come on. What? I'm going to... What? Quick. No, no, no. You can Come speak. Come on. You, you say quick. Say your answer. One and a half pounds? No, it's going to be, it's gonna oh. be a lot. Um, yeah. <laughs> 100 pounds. <laughs> more than 100 pounds, yep. 100? I no, think, I no, think, it just says more than 100. I think the answer is more than 100, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I think, I think the gentleman that gave us the honey said that he got an average of about 60 pounds out of each of his hives. I believe so, yes. All right, guys. Thanks a lot for dropping by. Uh, TJ and I hanging out, painting some bee boxes. Um, we'll show you more of our bee setup here in a little bit. I might have already done a clip of where we're putting the bees, so you might see that. But uh, we got to hang out a little bit. We got to paint some bee boxes. Neither one of us are big fans of painting. That's usually mom likes painting. We don't really always like painting. But we like hanging out. We like talking about bees. And, we'll, and so we got the boxes painted. So you got anything? Thanks for stopping by and watching us paint the bee boxes. Please like, subscribe, and share these videos. We are also found on Instagram and Facebook. Excellent, TJ. Thank you. Mom and I later tonight are probably going to finish putting the second coat on these boxes later tonight. So thanks for stopping by, guys. Appreciate it.